Hi fellow Outpost Builders, Miss O Plays here, and today I wanted to share some tricks I've been using to decorate the walls of my outpost lately. Uh, more specifically by adding these custom wall cabinets and greebles to my build. Um, there's some great cabinets, wall cabinets in the game already, but they have a kind of industrial vibe and it didn't really fit with some of the more domestic cabs I was trying to build, like kitchens and player homes. So this is a workaround I came up with to get around that and add a little more variety to the things I could build. Um, if you play Fallout 76, you might recognize this trick as so you take this wall and turn it into a door. Um, we make this the widest door we can possibly door. There we go. Um, the nice thing about this game is the door wells are really deep, which means you can add a lot of structure in here without any of it showing through either side. And if you want to, um, you can get rid of this second tab behind here, um, and it still won't show through the outside, but you do need the second tab just to get these things in to start with. So we're going to start stacking these tables because the, our future wall cabinets are actually floor cabinets and they need support or they will not play. Um, so we're going to use lined up. Um, I find if you line up the legs of the table, there we go, uh, about three of these little line, little triangly lines um, back, it should keep everything hidden um, from view without any little bits poking through. Um, so I get this, there we go, nice. Um, one extra table which I use as scaffolding so we can get these floor mats. And now we're going to put the floor mats on top of the table. Um, and get them lined up as good as possible. Uh, I like to stand on the table to do this because then you can get a better view of the top, but also um, it seems to make it want to stay more. I find when I try doing it from the floor, it flies off into the other half a lot or throws up the need support error more frequently. And that looks good. So now we're gonna get the cabinets that we are gonna teach to fly. Um, I like using these because they got the doors and I feel for a wall cabinet that makes sense. Unless you're really tall, you're not going to get into those drawers. Uh, so this is just my personal choice. But honestly, you use the drawers too. I mean, they're not functional. It's just for looks, right? <laughs> I suppose as far as the game's concerned. Um, trying to get these lined up can be a pain. As you see, they like to fall through or turn red. Looks, let's see. Nope, it's too far back. Let's bring it with some yeah yeah I'm gonna need that I'm gonna need that table just like I said I would <laughs> and now it is sitting where it wouldn't before um, I find that going left or right with these uh, helps the game seems to like that more I find if I try going right to left I, I get uh, you know obstruction errors a lot more frequently um, so this is the way I like to go when trying to line things up together. And that looks great. And if we click on the floor, or wall, yeah, there you go. Um, you can see it's sticking out, the little mat is sticking out the side there, so I probably want to finesse that in a little bit. Um, or maybe add a plant or a succulent, I don't know. But that's the wall cabinets, and the greebles are pretty much the same thing. Um, this is like learning to look at all your furniture from weird angles. Um, the backs and the sides can give some great textures for wall paneling, like these storage shelves. Um, another favorite of mine is the refrigerator. In fact, that's my absolute favorite because the white looks great with these science tabs. Um, the back and the side both look great and none of them will stick to the other side unless you want them to. And there you go, that's some wall panels. And that's uh, some greebles, and you can add all kinds of things. You can start stacking kind of like we did with the wall cabinets to add them. Um, like I did with this little wall sconce with the flowers and these other panels, uh, which are actually made out of drink machines. Um, so the coffee machine, the drink machine, and the water fountain um, are giving us those panels there. So yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. I um, mean, play around experiment a bit and see what you can come up with and hopefully that is helpful to some of you who've been looking for uh, a little bit of added variety for the those, those have walls in their outposts uh thanks for checking out my video okay bye <laughs>